We are in UK. <laughs> Hello, London. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Luches, again, and welcome. So, guys. The long anticipated relocation vlog is out today and i hope you have as much fun i had while creating this vlog trust me guys if you're planning to relocate from nigeria or from kotunu you have one or two things to learn or pick up from this video so guys just keep watching thanks for the like thanks for the subscription thanks for the engagement so far if you have any question just drop it on my comment section below so guys without talking so much let's just get right into this video because you have a lot to see and it will be like you're going on this journey with me so let's get right into it hi hi I'm Luchi. Hi. welcome to my youtube channel here we bake decorate share ideas vlog on lifestyle please do subscribe thank you so guys in my part one i stopped where we got to kotunu airport and this is a continuation so we flew with roya and Maroc and my husband and i we are both entitled to 23 kg each of our luggage now i want to advise you guys if you're traveling to, um to anywhere at all i wouldn't advise you to buy an ecolag box travel with a ghana must go or the picture of this bag i'm going to send you because i noticed they weigh less Ecolag on its own way up to 11 kg that by limiting you on what to pack but if you use those bags you can get to wherever you're getting to and then you buy a big box so that is mistake number one we made and i wouldn't want anybody to make that mistake but lucky for us we didn't have any extra luggage because we were mindful of what we packed because we had people who advised advised us on things to bring and things not to bring so in my next video i'm going to tell you things that are necessary and how we packed them without entering any problem so we got early to the airport and we were able to weigh our stuff and then we moved into the airport whereby checking our stuff lucky for us we were the number one people they checked in so it was really so easy for us so when you get to kotunu airport what you're going to do first is go to where they will scale your luggage after they scare it they'll tell you how much and they use about 2500 safers to wrap your luggage to hinder any penetration so if you if you notice people standing on the line almost everybody wrapped their luggage though it's not mandatory to wrap it is advisable because anybody can just slip in drugs into your luggage and you might get into trouble with immigration when you get to the country you're traveling to so we came earlier and at this point people going to france they are done checking so for us going to morocco we were the first for them to check in and we checked in at about after 12 a.m in the morning and that's the point where they searched our bag for liquid please your hand luggage should be devoid of liquid don't add liquid to it so that is my candid advice so we got to the waiting room and here we we're waiting for 4 15 a.m to get on our flight uh, and then they come you can do 11 point yeah, hand 11 point but you cannot exceed 12 And then the airport is not there, no allow us to see. My him the airport so except so this one we are not boarding the same flight really. How we want to they're not gonna check us again, Abby. No, no. When we reach Casablanca, Abby. Nobody go check us. Hurts. We're ready to go. So, guys, finally, I have the time to talk. This whole process has been. My eyes are so red. We are so. I don't look stressed actually, but I'm very stressed. See my dark side. His eyes are red. It's been a roller coaster traveling, is, uh, especially. This is just one o'clock. This is one one a.m. So our flight is for four fifteen a.m. It's not easy it's traveling from eyes are going to be open. a French speaking country. What do they call them? Franchise, have you? <laughs> it was so difficult. It's like they don't even trust blacks, especially now. They, they forget we are all black. Just our neighbor, they just a clean just 
anyways it's been amazing and we've met really cool amazing people nigerians and we are on the same flight and luckily so no excess luggage and everything is fine anyway i want to take a nap yeah i want to take a nap before we start boarding our flight we've done our checking in our luggages are in and to God be the glory all God cannot be the glory have we have we have we Mm -hmm. I'm not I forgot to add that what you need to travel vehicle to know is just your international passport just that and why checking in I was on a v um, student visa and the only question they asked me was for my cars and my admission letter and they verified our passport was authentic and then we were our luggages were checked in we were both entitled to 23 kg each for our large luggage and for hand luggage 11 kg so Kotonu airline they are very strict so they didn't even collect money from us so you don't have to get extra luggage i don't know how you said to that because they are really disciplined so when it was 4 a.m they started calling us to board the app they were so professional to the point that the the distance between the check-in area and the aircraft was a minute walk but maybe it's the accompanying policy we had to go through a luxury bus from there to the aircraft so we located our seats gradually and we're just close to the back yeah the back area so we located our seats popped in our hand luggage and i had to do a little prayer because god is good and then at this point almost everybody was i was really sleepy but then i tried so hard this is my husband dozing off here i told you i would come back for him so this is it <laughs> so everybody was almost falling asleep before we even zoomed off so at this point also the lights started changing i was done praying and this is the light that really turned everybody off so i started sleeping the next time i found myself was when they turn on the light and they wanted to give us something to eat so they gave us this french bread because yes they speak um french this royal maroc airline so it's a moroccan airline so they gave us this french bread that i don't know what they popped inside some veggies and maybe something meaty or something or ham i don't know and they gave us yogurt they also gave us cola and milk they also offered hot water if you want to take tea guys i woke up i was so tired i just wanted to eat and go back to sleep so my husband was still dozing <laughs> okay the what they gave us that tasted nice but it did not go well like that like that compared to what we had in our connecting flight so when i was done eating this is the vegetable i told you and then there is ham inside with some seed the man beside me i knew he did not enjoy it he, the, the man was just whooping out what they gave to him for a long time then finally he ate the chocolate cake that was inside so i didn't know if he ate his bread because i slept back so i tested the yogurt it was mango i hated it and this was me pretending i liked it but after a while more i just removed the thing that is that for that so after eating guy i slept back and this was morning this was when everywhere was bright this was almost eight something and they started announcing that we were close to casablanca international airport morocco so everybody was turning on their window because we had to open the window to land i don't know why they do that but yeah so we came down and there's this thing people do even though sitting at the back the aircraft will stop instead of it to allow the people in front to get down everybody wants to get down like i don't understand that anyway Sha, well again when we got down they transported us to where we were to board and this is we going up it you have to take your hand luggage of course because it's just at the cabin on on top of where you were seated and then 
we located our gates first we passed through their immigration they had to ask you some question to make sure that okay yes you're legit on a flight and you're not a criminal so after then we got to our gate and i was really so you know i was feeling very dirty so i had to go to their restroom change my clothes brush do some girl stuff and i was feeling refreshed after that so this was me trying to style my hair trying to make myself look a bit presentable because i slept and i had like puffy eyes so that was that about that after then i felt myself like a clean girl that i am so please subscribe oh. guys good morning it is me luchis sorry i've been giving you clips without saying anything so currently we are at casablanca the capital of morocco i think yeah so we took the royal air Maroc, and right now we are at our second gate for a connecting flight from Morocco to Gatwick, London. So let me give you a few glance of what where I am is like. Here is my gate F3. So people are stayed in different gates as you can see. There are other gates as well. This is my flight, where the flight is being stayed. And you know people just sitting and about your so i am super grateful to guard for the journey mercy so far it's been nothing short of fun like traveling from lagos to kotunu being to kotunu for the very first time in my life and then casablanca as well so i'm traveling the world you guys i just got started so i was thinking i wasn't tired man when we boarded the flight from kotunu to morocco I didn't even know when the plane took off. I was so tired that I just started sleeping. And there is this light that normally turned on. In fact, they were loading before that light came on and I slept throughout. When I woke up the second time, it was when they were giving us food. And immediately I finished eating. I slept off again. It was still a landing. I even knew where we were. So I'm super grateful to God for taking us like feet above sea level, like thousands of feet. And He's just God all by himself. So I'm super grateful to him and I'm happy that we are here. And I know our connecting flight to London from here will be safe and smooth. I, I wasn't awake, so I didn't experience any turbulence. So, you know, that is good. So I also went to use their bathroom to freshen up. As you can see, I am not wearing the same outfit. I've changed this from yellow to you know grey and I feel refreshed, I brushed, did some lady stuff and I'm just good to go. Just that my feet, my foot has been in this footwear for two days, maybe almost two days or more than 24 hours so I am not comfortable wearing it for a long time but you know we can't do what we got to do. We get I hope you guys are having fun with me. I, <sighs> yeah, what God cannot do does not exist. By the way, I miss my NSPD prayer and I feel so bad about it. The Wi Fi in this Morocco, the Wi Fi is not connecting. I've been trying and trying. I used that of Kotunu, which was for one hour, and I had to call family. But now I know they will be wondering where we are and messages. You know, I'm just worried about them. I've been trying to connect to their Wi Fi, but. For some reason, my phone is not verifying, it's not seeing it as a secured network also, so I, I'm not able to connect. That's that. Bye. We were not able to exchange money, and we bought this from Kotonu. So, this is what is sustaining us right now. We are so hungry, I'm very dehydrated. and the money we have in dollar they don't have change and nobody's ready to sell they don't want to stress themselves so we got to do what we got to do man this is my water for now we are sharing it we're going to enjoy um, Abby. <laughs> 
like I said, the Royal MRO, they are really so professional. Our boarding started by 11.25 a.m. and we were supposed to depart by 12.10 in the afternoon. So it was quite easy because they've checked us in and once again, we're among the first that went into the aircraft. So this is our gate and it was just so easy. The distance was so short and we located our seat and you know with the super friendly flight attendant so once again our seat was also at the back but this time around i have my window seat to myself no 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 ma it was my husband's phone but i overtook him overtaking is allowed now so i was sitting at the window i wanted to get all the views all the beautiful views so casablanca is just like three hours away from london and once again my other started sleeping without wasting time so in less than an hour they brought us food guys the aroma was amazing i don't know what it is i think it's irish potato and meat they even popped in some cherry something something they gave us bread yogurt it was really delicious before i got to our turn i was really salivating guys because I think it's because I was hungry. So when they get to you, they'll tell you, blah, 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 beef, I'm vegetarian. But because I had beef, I told them I'll take beef oh, cause who vegetarian help. So I was just savoring the meal cause it tastes way more better than what they gave us from Cotonou to Casablanca. So I finished everything by the way. I ate. My husband also and here they offer you tea you can take tea you can take water on like the first one they gave us water i was really thirsty and they also offer wine if you want wine in place of drink they also give you wine so after then i just chilled i was enjoying the view this is the empty plate and all that so this was france guys france is really beautiful see the water man i will travel this world eh god should just give me money so this is the view the view was amazing then finally they announced that we are in united kingdom and this was the view the cloud was cool this is summer by the way so there was sun and the cloud casting shadow down you know the ground was just a sight to behold i was just savoring every moment guys we are in UK! <laughs> Hello London! <laughs> Oma, it's sunny but the, the atmosphere is chilly. It's chilly guys. Ah, ah, I don't really care. So when you get down at Gatwick, the next thing is to locate where the immigration will ask you in guys i was really nervous because of the way people keep saying immigration will do this or they'll send you back but the officer that attended to us was really so nice he just asked me what i'm here for and i told him um a student he checked me out and advised me to get my residence permit 10 days after my arrival so i won't be deported so was nice and then we waited because we got to uk by three and then we waited until like nine to take a bus that was going to leeds because it took us time to get our hand luggage and we missed the bus that was supposed to get to lead or leave by 350 so we had to wait for the next one national express it's just at the down you just get your ticket at the down floor the ground floor of the gatwit airport and it took us first to victorian and then from victorian to leeds so it was about seven hours and we were on this bus this very luxury bus with charging ports everywhere so it had convenience inside as well so it was just a nice experience so traveling from gatwick was really easy and the crowd was not so much compared to Heathrow or manchester so that was why we chose um, gatwick manchester was closer to leeds but we chose there because of the you know immigra immigration and all that so first we got to victorian and then we switched to another bus with the same ticket 
going to late and we also took our time to sleep because it was really tiring we were really tired and i just slept off till the next morning so this was 5 something a.m and it was already bright guys the 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 weather here we have longer day and shorter night it stays night like, lit up the daylight stays until like 8 30 then it start getting dark by 2 9 and then morning comes very fast as early as 5 a.m everywhere is bright so this is national express bus stop at leeds so we, we got to leeds we we were picked up by my brother-in-law apple of god's eyes is here <laughs> guys i just landed late finally at my destination and i give god all the praise and glory he's wonderful there is none like him thank you jesus for the journey so far we just landed from london came through you know express fare called express buses and we are here so this is where i'll be staying for the next how many years hmm. god is good huh? he's good and it is currently 5 55 by the way guys and everywhere is so bright 5 55 it's not even up to six everywhere is so bright <sighs> i have to get used to this I look so worse. I don't tell anyone. I've not had my bath for two days now. It is what it is, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my husband did yeah. I'm waiting for my brother in law to come pick us up. Can't wait for him to come. Yeah, just to um, like uh, just to we are the... freezing. Freeze. We are freezing. Yeah, I was even going to wear shorts. We thought. Okay. I'm seeing you, you like. Oh um, no. <laughs> 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 now you be this so, you're meeting Demi after how many years? Since uh, when? That's uh, that uh, anniversary of Mommy and Daddy, I think. So, guys, when we got home, we had breakfast and we needed time to freshen up and sleep this is his beautiful beautiful family his wonderful wife and his really cute daughter so guys if you've watched to this point and you've not liked comment or subscribed to my video i hope you know you're not doing the right thing this guy supports me and get more information about living in the uk if you have any question just drop it at the comment section below and i will answer your questions guys so it's it's going to be like a cool journey things to bring to the uk and all so this is me adjusting to my oyibo life or oh, life just started and you know to god be the glory so until next time same channel see you guys bye bye and i love you Mwah.